Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. You make sure you don't get in trouble. And take our friend, uh, just emailed you back. He needs some information from you to get your problem fixed on with your social media. All right. Yeah, okay. thanks. Uh, by the way, thanks for reminding me of that, John. So, Tig, one of the things that's happening to you here is, is it immediately, is it right while this event was going on that you got uh, kicked off of Facebook and Instagram or just shortly thereafter? Um, I, when, some, when people heard about the, the shooting, they went straight to my page and it was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, just Facebook, uh, but Facebook. Then, I mean, I was down by by then. I was down like almost three and a half, four million views a mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. uh, it was totally shadowing me. And then uh, Instagram just happened yesterday around noon. Mm -hmm. uh, you get no, no explanation, no nothing, just gone. Yeah, it's weird and, because I I know I was looking at stuff that um that that had to do with you. And then to go on for this today, I'm, I'm trying to look you up. Even Lola was like, where, where's, where exactly is Tig? Right? So, so Instagram pulled you off today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Um, so, and then you've got, did you get any kind of messages? Did you get any, any messaging as to why? No, I, I was actually been pretty... I've been, I've been pretty good for the last couple of months, actually. Uh, I think the last thing that was deleted was about a Kyle, about the incident. And, and uh, mm -hmm. so that's about over, well over, what, two months now? Something okay. like that. Okay. Uh, so, but yeah, I mean, Twitter, I'm, I'm just waiting on Twitter to uh, go away, but I just went ahead and started a parlor, parlor account. Okay. So you're on parlor. So here, I'm just going to run this in here for a second, right? Just for anyone who's looking for TIG, I, I don't want to miss this because. If he's not on Facebook, this is the deplatforming nonsense that goes on. Yep. So if, if he doesn't have a way to get the message out to you or to say, hey, this, this is what's happening to me here, then he's extremely marginalized. So um, if you go to Parler and just put in TIG, you're going to see John TIG Teagan. Um, and I'm going to follow you right there. Yes, there you go, bam. Um, so that's your... There's his parlor right there. It looks like it's Tig with, uh, let me see if I could go to that. There you go. So this is, uh, it's like, what is that thing? What does that shirt say? Valor. I can't read the rest of the shirt. Oh, this has got Benghazi on it, right? Uh, it should be my, my logo and an eagle in the background. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay, I think I see that. I think I see that. All right, so there you go. So you're on parlor. Where else are you? On Twitter? Yeah, and just Twitter. Okay. That's a and, John uh, and it's just, it's, go ahead i'm sorry john, i don't know if it's john tig tigan or john, just john tigan let me search it here and then i'll run it in just in case this is one okay yeah it looks like so that's john tig tigan also right above tiger woods <laughs> if you put in tig uh, <laughs> so that's where you guys need to go to uh keep up with john um as well you know i i know this is one of the crazy things about this kind of stuff um, and when things like this go down with the other side, I don't see these same kind of tactics being used. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't really follow any other pages, so I have no idea if what happens no, to they, them. No, they don't do it. They don't do it. We're the ones that any little thing that we do, um, you know, it's like, hey, this is a reason to take us out. So I think, I think that John Crump is uh, talking to someone and working with someone. Hopefully we get that going. Um, what do you think about this whole, what do you think about the whole like deplatforming situation? Yeah, they do it every four years. I mean, that's what it seems like they really hammer down, you know, towards the end. I mean, what, uh, even like a uh, uh, tank, you know, he has millions of followers. He gets his count every four years. He's got to start over uh, again. They just trying to, it goes back to the same thing as the communist party that was out there. They're just trying to, they, they're trying to silence um, I'm not conservative or the right, but just just the patriots alone. They want to silence you because they want to control what's going to happen in the future. I mean, they don't they don't want us to come out. They want us to stay inside of our house. You know, I don't know if maybe that's a whole thing with the COVID, but you know, I mean, they just uh, mandated another 30 days here in Colorado, mm -hmm. and there's only 266 cases, and mm -hmm. there's millions of people. And I'm like, come on, there's no. Again, eventually we're all going to get it. 
I believe. I think just the mass is just going to slow it down, which is which is fine. But again, it goes back to I should be able to, you know, if I don't want to wear a mask, but I want to wear a mask. The store wants wants you to wear a mask. Then if you want to go in there, wear a mask. Mm-hmm. You know, I fly, I wear a mask. Mm-hmm. But when I get on the plane, I take the mask off. I mean, they kick me out of the airport. Well, screw me then. Yeah. You know? One one of the things I noticed uh, recently when uh, when I was traveling is that American Air. I don't know what other airlines are doing this, but American Airlines basically said if you, which this whole thing's crazy. You have to wear a mask, except if you're eating something. <laughs> then you could take the mask off. It's all good. Yep. <laughs> you know, so whether you're on the plane or in the airport, if you're eating something, you're it's cool. So go buy some food and eat some food that's you know but they're saying like if you if they feel like you're refusing to wear a mask they can not only kick you off of that flight or kick you out of the airport they can ban you from traveling on the airline like american airlines was was telling us that over and over again yep you know um and and then to 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 make it worse to pour salt on that injury uh, my tax money is supposed to go to bailing those guys out yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. I That's would it. just rather watch everything burn down and then we're forced to drive where we need to go. Oh, now I remember what I was going to talk about. Okay. <laughs> the train. <track. laughs> <laughs> Talking about the bailing out. I mean, uh, the, the, the other reason why, you know, Antifa and the antagonizers and stuff, why they're so, so encouraged is, you know, what the celebrities raise, what, $200 million to bail all of them out of jail if they get in trouble. Mm-hmm. And they got law firms that are backing them up pro mm-hmm. bono so they get out of jail as fast as possible and get the charges reduced or just totally expunged. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so that's another thing that's going on that's encouraging a lot of this uh, um, attitude. Yeah. You know, it's it's like a little kid. You know, you don't you don't give the little kid a lollipop if he freaking goes and pees on the couch. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I, um, and this is just a thought. You can tell me if this is totally off base. Uh, by the way, for everyone who's hanging out there with us right now, a couple things I didn't do. Let me do this first. Uh, smash the thumbs ups, please. Okay? There's enough of you to smash the thumbs ups. Get us up to 100 of those. Big shout out to Harry's Holsters uh, for sponsoring the podcast tonight. I forgot to say that. I got, I got excited and didn't get into it. Um, Tig, does this remind you of tactics that you've seen in other places in the world? As in which which ones? In terms of so, for example, let's imagine that we're releasing prisoners. A lockdown is going on, right? People are really worried, get losing their business, all that kind of stuff. Everyone's scrambling for toilet paper because you know it's a zombie apocalypse. You got to wipe your butt. All this stuff is happening. They're releasing prisoners. Then you've got a lot of those people uh, going out there, and they're the ones in these in in the riots and the, the burning and looting, those are the same people doing that. And then just like you just said, you've got organizations pooling money to bail them out, you know, so they could go out there and do it again. Does that ever seem, you know, like someone's out there just stacking, you know, the tables against you? And, well, ha- and mean, have you seen that anywhere else in the world? <laughs> yeah, not, not, not on this level that, you know, not, not in person. Uh, you know, I know, you know, Gaddafi, he let all the, he let a lot of prisoners out when he was falling. Saddam did the same thing. You know, it's, it's, again, it is, it's a tactic to try to suppress everybody. Um, but it, I mean, again, it's working. If you have zero repercussion, I mean, they, they're going to have to go to court, pay it fine, but that's all you got to do. And you can go out and just, again, just do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. There's a, still real no repercussion because somebody else is footing the bill. Mm-hmm. You just got to. A night in jail and sometimes it's not even that you go in sign in you know you're in there for just a couple hours and you're out mm-hmm. that's why video hey what's your name what's your name they shout their name they're doing the calls for them yeah uh this is a good question from uh dave from down the barrel actually so i'm going to ask this one here let me uh let me get this and this goes to both of you guys right so i think you know kevin i'd like you to chime in on this as well down the barrel llc that's dave shout out to him he says uh, what is the completed agenda? What happens when the nail is driven to the head? What's the outcome? Before the credits roll, what is the ending of the movie going to look like if the agenda completes? Venezuela. Mm. I'll second that. Really? Yeah. I, I can't I'll argue that, so. 
cannot be silent. We cannot be quiet. I mean, we got to be seen. We got to be heard. And I'm not saying going out there and doing what they do. Don't go use their tactics. Don't go in there and just immediately start attacking people and just beating them up. Mm-hmm. Just get their way. Be that. Be that force. You know, like in Idaho, they had thousands of people who showed up when they when they came to their town. And what did they do? They turned around, got back in their little buses, and took off. Mm-hmm. And that's all it took. It didn't take any any violence. No nothing. Just power. You know, power and numbers. Mm-hmm. That's where it's, at. and but you have to be willing and ready to actually do violence if you have to. But again, I don't want. I mean, I don't. I, I, I think it's just. I think it's stupid. It's childish. It's a. It's schoolyard bullcrap. But that's what they want. And, they, and again, just like that, you know, Saturday. That's what that you know that uh, that aggressor wanted to do. He wanted to, to get in an altercation. Yeah. Um. Go ahead, Kevin. Did you want to say something there? Oh no, man, I. I've really nothing to add to that. I, I just, I agree. I mean, and, and it's the same tactics when it comes to uh, defending your town or defending your immediate neighborhood. I, I can tell you personally, we, people that are about, you know, some people, what's the old adage? Some people just want to see the world burn, right? Mm-hmm. And when it, when it comes to that, there is a point to where you have to be able to stand up and say, enough is enough, you know? And I think what Tig said about being careful about just using their tactics is very important, but when it boils down, um, like well, when you have no other choice, uh, when you really get with your backs against the wall, you know, are you going to let think about think about your town or your your city like your house? Are you going to let somebody just come tear it up mm-hmm. or are you going to do at what point do you say, no, nah, that's not going to happen and you do something about it? Mm-hmm. That's up to each individual to come up with that answer. Mm-hmm. But that's the question you have to be able to ask yourself. But I, I do that. I do think that we all need to hear what he says. You don't go out there looking for problems. You don't go out causing the chaos and destruction you don't go out playing their game uh you go out to make sure that they understand that what they're doing is not acceptable um and then if somebody's going to cause you hurt harm or danger to uh, you know a point to where you can seriously be hurt or you can die i mean there's a little there's this little thing called self-preservation that's ingrained in all of us and then there's this little thing called the second amendment and if the two need to come together and be executed on accordingly then so be it okay and um, and then the aftermath of that, uh, what should be our mindset in that, right? I- I'm just asking you guys that question because I think there's a lot of people who think about that and maybe that uh, puts a little bit of fear in them. Like, like, that's what we're talking about here. And someone says, hey, so if I go out there and I- I'm standing up for myself and my neighborhood, my community, and I get into something with these guys, and even if I'm in the right, I'm going to be vilified, arrested, locked up and all this kind of stuff then what i mean they can't again they want to scare you to do that because then you don't do anything mm-hmm. i mean you it's got it's a risk i mean it's a risk you have to take for your country i mean people you know if if nobody responded to that first shot we wouldn't be a free country mm-hmm. because they're afraid what the british would do to them mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. yeah Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.